Hello, hello. Welcome to our final Race to World First coverage episode thing. I'm Dratnos, joined by Tettles here. Yep, the dawn... Actually, not the dawn, the uh, night of the final day. The... Yes. The after the final day. A new day has risen as well. EU have reclaimed the World First. Echo have taken World First Sylvanas Windrunner in a stunning, stunning show of force. Not long after as well, complexity limit taking the world second as well. Very similar to what we were talking about yesterday. Yes. Um, where it was like, after this uh, goes live, Echo will have whatever time that they have in the day to be able to kill it. Yeah, on like six hours first before reset. Limit is back at it, right? Yep, on the first reset to be able to kill it. Limit will show up on the second reset and probably kill it pretty quickly. Except Echo was able to kill it before their reset. Limit showed up on the second reset and yeah, one shot the boss. Yeah, so that is currently the finished state of the race. 176 pulls in reset number one, and that is a kill for Echo. Holy shit. 212 pulls in reset number one, and one pull in reset number two, and that is a, a kill for Limit. That's wild to me that Limit 242.5... The, the, only the item, item levels level... are not the thing. The thing is the, sh the, uh, the set bonuses. So the set bonuses are massive, but there were only 1.3 item levels ahead right. of Echo. And but they were like, they, by, by that second reset, they were like seven completed three sets but, extra on, but yeah. on that reclear. Most guilds now are starting to get into like the 15 unholy yeah. it, it's, reset range. It's, this week, it's like you have to be pretty unlucky to not have it. Next week, it's going to be like you have to be giga unlucky to not have it. The week after that, if you've been killing all the bosses and you don't have it, I think you're allowed to you're allowed to sue or something. <laughs> you're legally allowed to petition. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah after 15 resets, you're legally allowed to leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The substitute teacher is gone, bro. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, at the top of the ticket, just a stunning finish to the Race to World First. Echo playing out of their minds this tier. Yeah, nothing nothing to be done but but congratulate them wholeheartedly. A extremely deserved win. Uh, every single player on that roster just looking phenomenal through and through. One of the closest tiers we've seen in a, a hot minute. Yeah, I mean, the the back and forth, there were several days where we were having back and forth pulls, right? Where we are going back between streams. However, all along, you, uh, you did kind of have the feeling that Echo was, had the upper hand. They were getting the better of it. They were having these better days. Uh, but then the re as the reset came closer and limit, closer, yeah. it was like, oh no, is, are they about to get 16-hour diffed? Right. <laughs> so that was the, the you know, if you go back 24 hours from right now, right, and you're in Blizzard's perspective, right, three different things could happen. Limit could kill it before reset. Limit nerd screams very happy. You're fine with it. Echo could kill it before reset. Echo nerd screams. They're very happy. You're fine with it. Or neither could kill it first reset. And then Limit walks in there and one-shots it on uh, the start of their second reset while Echo's still attempting uh, it on for, first reset. Fourth, fourth thing. Or fourth, <laughs> and then Echo still gets it afterwards, but in their first reset, right? Those last two cases were horrific disasters for Blizzard Entertainment, and they have dodged a bullet on this one. Do you think that they change anything ever, I, ever? I, so I, in one sense, maybe they see the, the bullet dodge here and they're like, whew. Okay, we we gotta we gotta you know get some armor we gotta up. Gotta get out of the this. way of that. Yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, maybe they need to hit, be hit by it before they'll do anything about it. Um, it it is certainly a weakness of the race to world first right now is that those situations are possible, uh, and it's also an annoying part of the race to world first that they are so frequently discussed for those of us who love talking about bosses and stuff and, and getting back to sixteen hours every single time we have to talk about it. Dude, 16, 16 hours for first reset, literally not a thing. Yeah, it's the second reset that I mean, the second reset's the killer. That is where the sixteen hours rear their heads. But, but you don't ever hear anything except for, oh, 16 hours, lol. Right, yeah. I mean, uh, the, the, the the level of the discourse in Twitch chat, of I, course. I wish you would run me over with a car. Leaves much to be desired. <laughs> yes. Let's talk a little bit about spots three through five in our Race to World first so recap. So competitive. Probably more competitive than we've seen spots three through five in a long time, too. Oh, my God. We are not going to keep this series going at this point, but... Oh my goodness, you should continue watching this race to world first because we have BDGG, Method, and Pieces smashing this boss. Look at the boss percentages here as well. Pieces, way fewer pulls, way better best pull than BDGG and Method. BDGG, though, you know, medium amount of pulls, high boss total. Method, more pulls, medium amount of, of best percentage. So Pieces here, you know, they got to this boss last, but wow, they are, they are slapping it. Uh, BDGG though they got their reset first, which means that they will be start like you know presumably they're pulling right now. Yeah, they're pulling it right now, and then tomorrow they'll be pulling it probably while Pieces and Method are still doing their reclears and their farm ups and stuff. So there's an opportunity here for BDGG to surge back ahead. But as of right now, it looks like there was there's a good chance of a shakeup in these top 
uh, these final spots here in the race for World Third. Uh, that is something that I mean, this race to World Third is a legitimate three horse race in such an exciting way to watch. Uh, and let's not count out as well. We have a bunch of other guilds that have just reached Sylvanas. We've got Aversion, the world's greatest German guild in the world. Ever. Impact, the world's greatest French guild in the world. Ever. And Fat Shark, yes, the world's greatest six-hour guild week one <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Ever. Yes. <laughs> so, several uh, qualifiers for those guilds, but they are each in their own way incredible, and they are getting started on Sylvanas as well. I would not be surprised with this reset's worth of gear if all of these guilds secure that grain and put Sylvanas in the dirt at some point over the next four or five days. Yeah. Uh, Sylvanas seems like she's a lot easier of a boss. Just talking to the limit guys on this reset than she was on last reset. I mean, of course, you know, when when you have a boss at point point two percent or whatever away from being dead, and then you got a huge, a huge nice hit of shards, right? Well, Your warrior sims 2,000 DPS higher than they did the day before. I kid you not. <laughs> like, that, of course, is going to make something feel like you're cutting, <laughs> like, a hot knife through butter, right? 2,000. So much damage, actually. But, you know, for, for us mere mortals, of course, the fight is likely to still have a serious amount of difficulty this week, but... There is a good point being made by Limit that, like, man, when when regular guilds are reaching this boss with five set, five, tier five, three set, unholy gems That's on all their characters, damage. that that boss is going to melt rapidly. However, I mean, God, that, that fight is an intense fight mechanically, and there's a lot of damage as well. So I wouldn't count out Sylvanas being a, a serious challenge for a lot of guilds, but that beautifully tuned, incredible 45% experience that we've had this race to world first will not be a thing for most skills, I don't think. That that experience of, like, 100 pulls of wiping to min-maxing a little bit more damage, to some extent, you never get that in post-world first rating, but mm -hmm. Sludgefist was kind of like that for everybody, right? Sludgefist, no matter when your guild reached that, you had this beautiful moment of Sludgefist crash into wall, you know, okay, me, Heartbreaking me, need, me need to do more damage, do me kill before me die. I think Painsmith will probably be that for a lot yeah. of people, but you'll probably end up having that on Painsmith whenever you have, like, one person dead or something. Yeah, Painsmith is going to be a, a treat as well for a lot of guilds. I, I'm looking forward to uh, for sure to that that boss being widely progressed. Um, wow, though, the, I mean, the tier has been phenomenal from the from the perspective of world first rating. I think that this has been just as good as it as good as it ever gets. In the background, we hear screams of imperative, but yeah, sounds like maybe Sonic's imperative has been taken out of boss here. Maybe, maybe they. Are, Oh, wait, they've only got one put on Facebook. Maybe their VOD is being watched of them. Maybe. <laughs> We're, of course, hanging out at the GameStop Performance Center, the uh, the home, home of, of complexity. complexity. Um, All right. Which I think is where, probably where we've it, been uh, hanging out. Yeah, but, of course, big shout-outs to everybody involved in the Race to World First. All guilds, Echo, nothing but the greatest to, to be said about their accomplishments this tier. This will go down in the history books as one of the sickest showings uh, of pure player power to ever happen in, an, in a race to world first. Just kind of proves that if you put your mind to it, anything is possible. Anything is possible. And with that, we are out of here until next race to world first. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Goodbye.